Okay, there's a regular... There's the floor plan. Open floor plan, but I mean without the... Okay. Actually, no. I want to show you the detail. Right, this is where okay. the fun gets. This is how the... the, the um, this is a regular part of the wall, uh, yeah. the, the outside wall, and so it's got an insulated concrete form on either side, and then this is concrete, and so this is stays stays as insulation. And then um, one of the um, um, the pieces, one of the the uh, sill plates sits yeah. right there, and then and then also there's like a piece of the concrete bends over here, and there's a bit of concrete right here for the other sill plate and the so other what, side of what's the... what's a sill plate? You well, it's... Tell us what a sill plate is. It's this piece of wood right there, that X right there. It's what the, it's what the bales sit on. It's the piece of, of wood that goes between the, uh, the, the, the... the footing and the bales, basically. Yeah. And then there's... Okay, this is a, 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 a wall stud, so, you know, a support... A, yeah, and so that's a bit of wood, is it? Actually, um, they call it a fire. Actually, the, this is... Um, okay. <laughs> no, and in this case, it's actually a hardy frame, but that's just because they showed it at this point in, in, the, um, in the drawing. But anyway, um, you got you got these posts. You can see them down here, this, the posts, and sit on top of the sill plate, which sits on top of the of the um, of this uh, concrete-formed mm. footing. And, um, and then the earthen floor is sort of back behind there. And the interesting thing about it, uh, you might want to move over to here a second. Yeah. Um, this is the layers, the earthen floor. So this is the native so soil. And then this is class 2AB, which is like a road base material that, um, and you put, we put it down and we compacted layer upon layer of this. Um, uh, you know, we did it in different layers, but six inches, and then we got four. Okay, pumice. I didn't. We didn't get that much pumice in. She put. Oops. She wanted four inches, and we ended up, only ended up getting two because. Um, I don't know if it was a it was a bad calculation on my behalf, but I had to buy it, and it was quite expensive, and get a truckload up here, and um, we once, you know, um, a full truckload was about all I could afford, so that's it ended up being about two inches. Mm -hmm. So, and then this filter fabric on top of that, and then on top of that is the is the floor that how holds the um, uh, ch earth and the heat tubes. Hydronic you can see them here and here tubing. and here, the hydronic heat tubing, yeah. and that's basically this kind of material, which is like a crushed mine rock sand type of thing. Yeah. Um, it, with more fine. Oh, oh, sorry, Han. Um, and um, and uh, yes, just that put down with a layer actually I put a layer down and tamped it all down then we screwed these the uh, the hydronic tubing to it and then we poured another layer on top of that and then this is this last layer has two uh, two half inch layers of uh, finished soil which is clay soil uh, water and um, other uh, clay water and some sand that's basically it. I don't know if we... And then we put lime... No, excuse me. But then we put linseed oil on top of it and soaked it, soaked it, and soaked it. And that was a big job. Okay, there. Hey. So here we have Catherine working on the floor. Tell us what you're doing, Catherine. Come on. Tell us how we figured out where, what's the best way to do it. red wax and some and we're rubbing it into the floor that has linseed oil and a layer of wax. Oh, okay, and the radio playing in the background. Oh, yeah. Huge, yeah. Yeah, anyway. So, so that's basically the plans of, of the floor. Yeah. yeah, and lots, I mean, tons and tons of material this is. Yeah. <laughs> it was a big project, took about a year. <laughs> uh, a year. Yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah, so a lot of people, they just do cement. Yeah. And they put the tubing in the cement. Yeah. yeah. And you, then you could, but then you can never really get to You it. can never get it. That's, it's there uh, yeah. forever, well, presumably, yeah. until you replace the floor. Yeah. And then at the back of the house is this retaining wall. It's the, basically yeah. the same material but just taller. Yeah. 
with rebar, lots of rebar in it and stuff like that. And then you, and then you can see the French drain that we installed and, yeah. and stuff like that. So, so that's the basic um, floor plan. Okay. Uh, he, well, this is the uh, so the earthen floor, and this is Catherine's. Ooh feet on the floor and what's it feel like? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's a little uneven but it feels very soft. It's sort of like leather, well-worn leather. Yeah, and, and... It feels really nice to walk barefoot in the house. Oh, and, and what about these, um, <laughs> these little tennis balls on well, the bottom of the chairs? before we found out about the tennis balls um, and before we got this rug, the chairs really gouged it pretty bad. Because, oh, yeah. like I said, it's like soft leather. Yeah. And um, doesn't do well with sharp, pointy objects. And so, so, so now these we've got it covered up are, and we're protecting it pretty good. I see, that's good. Well, it's very nice to walk on. And Huntervasa would approve because he wanted uh, floors to be uneven and nice to walk on. And we're all walking about in bare feet. And that, yeah, it feels that's, really good. that's Catherine's feet and those Ooh. are my feet. And I'm just going to show you Jeannie's feet. Put them on the floor and okay. not on the mug. There I'm are. walking on the floor and these are the these are undulation line joining it to the tiles, which is where all the mud comes in. You can wipe it yes. easily. With and we're all full of joy because our feet are, are happy.